I just have to say that Esther looks more and more beautiful every time I see her. She does, I feel like she's going back in time with age or something. Do you guys agree? Yes. Just want to share that this, appreciation. The for... support group here. <laughs> I do. I feel a lot of gratitude for Esther. That conversation was so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. And I had an experience recently where I had a really strong contrasting moment through my life experience and some momentum that I had and some focus that I had, of course, on a subject that mattered to me a lot, which was my marriage. And I had this knowing of what I wanted, and I actually had the ability to... A knowing of what you wanted, but you weren't ready for it. Right. I wasn't focused on the lack of it. The details of what you were living caused you to put it into the vortex, and it's causing you to ask for it, and has actually caused it to be accomplished, but you're not ready for it. Right. But it's all right to not be ready for that, because you're ready for this, and ready for this, and ready for this, and ready for this. This is a new way of looking at this that is really going to help those like you who have been after this with such clarity and intensity for a long while. That's why you being here right now following that is ready to be ready to be ready to be ready. Yeah, I get that. So are you going to ask us to take a bigger jump with you than you're ready for? No. All right. No, what I'm, <laughs> not at all. Because I... I, the experience that I had was I had I actually had the awareness to know that I wasn't ready for it and to just honor the, the aspect of finding any way to feel good, right? To just, I launched the rocket. So by not being ready for it, we know we can interrupt you because we know the clarity of your mind and you can do this dance with us. So we're going to be rude and interrupting through this conversation. By all means, please. So can you feel that where you are is what you're ready for and therefore Absolutely. it's good? And, yes. Absolutely. And can you look for the positive aspects of where you are? If what matters isn't getting over there, isn't being ready for what's over there or getting over there, if the only thing that matters is satisfaction right now, which you have the ability to accomplish, mm -hmm. then you're ready to be ready, aren't you? And so I've, I had the awareness to find any reason to feel good and to trust and know that everything's always working out for me. And what is the path of least resistance to feeling good? It's a variable, isn't it? Yeah, it's in the Sometimes moment. the path of least resistance, depending on how far into mm -hmm. it you are or how big the wobble is, sometimes the path of least resistance is, is a focus wheel, sometimes it's taking a nap, sometimes it's going off by yourself, sometimes it's moving forward a little bit in the conversation. It can be all kinds of different actions that there's no point in identifying. But in each moment, do you believe that you can find a path of least resistance to be ready for this manifestation? Do you accept that in every moment in time there is a manifestation? Yes. And do you find yourself through your appetite to enjoy seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and touching, do you find yourself deciphering the manifestation negatively? A lot of people do. It's a sort of natural thing It's a thing natural to do. thing, of course. So what we're getting at here is if you leave this gathering deciding to be ready to be ready, which means to be as satisfied as you can be in this moment, mm -hmm. which means to join your inner being in your inner being's perspective of this moment, yes. then... Wouldn't that change the way you are responding to or looking at this manifestation, this one, this one, this one, this one? And does it matter who else is involved in the manifestation or what they're saying or what they're doing or what they're thinking or what they're planning or what they're perceiving? Does any of that matter? The only thing that matters is your ability to find satisfaction in this manifestation. This is worth thinking about. And so I was. And so that, when you say that you have the the ability to elicit from anybody. If you can hold on to feeling good and if, if you're in the receptive mode, find a way to get into the receptive mode, then you have the ability to elicit from anybody. And it wasn't that I attached that to him, but it was that I, I got really, I was a vibrational snob. I wanted to really focus on what I wanted and my desire and stay there with it. We want to talk about that because in this powerful moment where you have the ability to find satisfaction, satisfaction meaning appreciation or love, or interest. It's just aligning with the thoughts of your inner being about the same moment in time because your inner being is enjoying this manifesting moment. So as you find a way to see through the eyes of source and to enjoy this manifesting moment, you're not looking hard, but your long-time practiced intentionality is to find the resonance, to find the satisfaction, to find the harmony, to find the feeling good. 
it finally puts you in this conscious, aware understanding because you think that the satisfaction is being ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready ready so that you can get the big prize which will satisfy you. But that isn't it. It's satisfied, 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 satisfied. So much so that when the manifestation that seems far away and even improbable or difficult happens, it will just feel like the next logical step because you were ready to be 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 ready. ready. So that means anything that you're asking for that feels like a big step, you're not ready. If you go, oh my God, the idea of that just takes my breath away, you're not ready. You say, oh, I just can't believe it. It's going to be so wonderful when it happens to me. You're not ready. Ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready. And I wasn't ready before. I was asking before, and I, I wasn't ready. And then... But by not being ready, you know what happens? It makes you want to be ready. There is nothing that makes you desire satisfaction more than dissatisfaction. There's nothing that makes you desire clarity, which is alignment, more than confusion. There's nothing that makes you desire well-being than some not well-being. So you can't get it wrong no matter what, but you get to play within it consciously or not. And the only satisfaction comes from consciously playing because someone else could have listened in, could have heard you talking about something you want, could have decided to be your support group or your yielder of all things wanted and could gather up what they know you want and drag you to the place where it is and present it to you. But you wouldn't hold on to it very long because if it comes to you in some orchestrated way that you're not ready for, then it's not lasting. It's only there for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I had that awareness to really stay focused on my desire and trust that it would come and I didn't have to get... Wait, that's different. On your desire for what? On my desire for... Satisfaction. This is the distinction that we're making. Because you were switching over to the desire for that thing that's over there. We want you just for a little while to let your desire factor be your satisfaction factor. In other words, Jerry used to say, when people would say, well, what's your money goal? And Jerry would say, I just want all that I can spend. (laughs) And Esther remembers looking at him and thinking, you are a crazy person. First of all, Esther saw no limit to what she could spend. It's time-consuming, though. Somebody was just sharing that with me. I never heard that before. It's time-consuming. So what we're getting at is, this is your desire. Now that you know what you know, now that you understand the laws of the universe, and you understand your vortex, and you know what's there, so now your dominant desire, it will serve you so well if your dominant desire is, I want all that I'm ready for now, and conscious awareness of what I'm ready for now, and I want to let all that I'm ready for now. That's what people mean when they talk about the power of now, or being present in the now. That's what they're talking about. So that you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and living in the moment. If you are consciously aware of the receiving of all that is happening in your now, of all of the delicious things that are happening in your now, can you see that not only are you going to live happily ever after, but everything's going to be your experience that you want. And there's another piece that we really want you to know. While you're getting ready for this, you've thrown more further down the road because you can't stop asking for more. You're never going to get to the end of it. You're never going to get to the end of what you want. There's always going to be something more waiting to manifest for you. And so when you get to the place where you are so satisfied, I want to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready, then you take all of the contradictory energy out of everything that's on its way to you. That made sense to you, didn't it? So good. (laughs) When your parents said, you're never satisfied, you want to say, this way the universe works, mom. Every single thing I get puts me in a new contrasting place of asking for more. I'm going to always be satisfied, but I'm never going to get to the end of what satisfies me. That's what we're saying. I'm always satisfied, but never to the end. A new idea is going to keep springing up and another and another and another and another and another and another. And And these universal forces and all of this energy have the ability to yield to you whatever you are asking for. I know. 
And so you just made, you just brought more awareness to me that it was not aware to me at the moment that I was really just finding a way to feel satisfied where I was, no matter what, where, whatever the manifestation that I wanted, but just to really feel good where I was. It's good news to acknowledge that because that's all you can do. You can't vibrationally jump to a place that you are not. And so the place to be is where you are perusing where you are for the satisfying factors. That's what the book of positive aspects is all about. That's what the rampage of appreciation is all about. I was just going to say, I feel like you probably told us this before, but I've never heard it this way. We know. It's because of your asking, the place of your asking. You led us to a new and powerful place. That's what co-creation is. Thank you so much. Really good.